You're listening to In Our Headphones. Your chance to discover the songs KEXP DJs don't want you to miss. I'm Janice Headley. And I'm Isabel Kalili. And this is your never-ending source for new music discovery from listener-powered KEXP. Hey, everyone. Janice here this week, and today I am thrilled to be joined by Alvina Cabrera, KEXP's Latin Partnerships and Editorial Manager and the co-host of El Sonido, KEXP's Modern Latin Music Show. Alvina, how are you? Hola, Janice. How are you? I'm super happy to be here again, talking with you. <laughs> it is mutual. And it's by design that you are our guest today, because today is the first day of Akia Hora, KEXP's special programming for Latinx Heritage Month. And you have so much planned for the next 30 days. Can you give our listeners a rundown of what's to come? Así es, Janice, welcome to Aquí Ahora, which means here and now. This is special programming that we've been doing for a few years now. I think that this the fourth edition, and I'm really excited to uh, introduce to you a couple of things that we are going to do, of course, that you have to tune in. 90.3 FM in Seattle, 92.7 FM in the Bay Area. We have a great lineup, a full day with a, a Latin music on the airwaves. So that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you are going to listen to our uh, favorite DJs on air with a special guest. Uh, members of our community are going to be there. So um, that, of course, is going to be on demand in case that you want to listen to it. We also have magic that we're going to do uh, in October specifically in Mexico because KEXP is back uh, in Mexico this October celebrating, of course, Aquí Ahora, but also celebrating the capital of Latin American music. And it's our third edition of Live on KEXP in Mexico City. And for the first time, Amiga... And I hope that you can come with us this October I want in Mexico. <laughs> we are going to do El Sonido Live for the first time in Ciudad de Mexico as well in partnership with uh, Vive Latino and Indie Rocks Magazine. I'm super excited. So, yes, all our amigos y amigas in Mexico City that are listening, I want to see you there uh, Saturday, October uh, 19th at Foro Indie Rocks in Ciudad de Mexico. Of course, you have all the information on kxp.org slash Mexico. And on this episode of In Our Headphones, we're going to spotlight the four bands who are playing El Sonido Live this October 19th in Mexico City. We are going to have our uh, friends from Descartes Acant from Mexico. Descartes Account, uh, uh, we, we can say that it is one of the best rock bands from uh, Latin America right now. They are also visiting Seattle. They are also visiting uh, the Bay Area because they are doing a West Coast U.S. tour in a couple of months, in November specifically. But we are going to have the chance to see them at El Sonido Live. So I'm really excited about that, that connection. That was the track, The Mess We've Made, by Descartes Account, originally from Guadalajara, Mexico, and now based in Mexico City. So it'll be a hometown show when they perform for us at El Sonido Live on October 19th at Foro Indie Rocks. You can find that track on their 2023 album, After Destruction. Alvina, who else is playing at El Sonido Live? KEXP is a huge fan fan of shoegaze, mm -hmm. right, Janice? I mean, I, I think that you like sh shoegaze as well. Big time. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Bueno, <laughs> we're going to have La Ciencia Simple, a South American shoegaze for you, amigo y amiga. Oh.
a band that has been around for a couple of years, but I think that is the first time that they are playing in Mexico, and it's new for KEXP, so I'm excited about them as well. Yeah, I have to admit, I hadn't heard of them before you booked them, and now I am just obsessed with them. And I was so excited to see that John McIntyre of the bands Tortoise and The Sea and Cake uh, produced their 2022 album, Ritmos and Cruise, um, because I'm a huge fan of his work, and I know a lot of fellow KEXP listeners are too. So let's hear a little more of their latest single. This is Unreal Interminable from La Cincia Simple. just heard the single Unreal Interminable from San Diego-based band La Cincia Simple. And you can hear that song in its entirety in a few different ways. Using the In Our Headphones playlist over on Spotify, the What's In Our Headphones playlist on YouTube, or at kexp.org slash podcasts, and just click on today's show page. Alvina, who else is playing at El Sonido Live? This is our KXP favorite. No, because the other bands are not some of the best. It's just because Melenas from Pamplona, Spain. Been on rotation on KXP, we love uh, them, yes. and it's going to be yes, the first time in Mexico with Melenas. I think that you you like Melenas as well. Oh, I'm a huge fan of them. Yes, they are very good, like indie rock, indie pop from uh, Spain, originally from Pamplona. So they're going to be also part of El Sonido Live. heard the band Melenas with the track Ahora. The title track off last year's album released in the U.S. via the Trouble in Mind label. And it's a perfect track for today since KEXP is kicking off a key Ahura, which as Albina mentioned translates to here and now. And it's KEXP's special programming for Latinx Heritage Month. And you can tune in to KEXP today for some guest DJ sets, special interviews, and more on the air. Or listen on demand in the two-week streaming archive. Alvina, who is the last artist that's going to be playing at El Sonido Live in October? The fourth band, they are guests of the 2023 edition, Los Cogelones. Their live on KEXP session is available on our YouTube channel. They are going to be playing uh, directly from Ciudad Neza, Mexico. Indigenous rock, one of the best that I ever heard. So Los Cogelones are going to be part of this killer lineup, El Sonido Live in Mexico, Octubre 2024. I mean, um, I hope to see you there.
just heard the track Danza del Sol from the band Los Coolones, one of the four bands playing KEXP's El Sonido live event next month in Mexico City, along with Milena's La Cincia Simple and Descartes Account. Tickets are available now at kexp.org slash Mexico. And Alvina, congratulations on organizing such an amazing event. I feel like every year you put together the most incredible programming for a Kiora. And this El Sonido live event in Mexico City is just the perfect way to wrap up the month-long celebration of Latinx music. Yes, exactamente. And um, starting in November of this year, we are going to start posting the live on KEXP session that we are going to record at El Desierto Casa Estudio. That is also part of this trip, actually. Twelve bands from Latino America and Ibero America are going to be recorded uh, in Ciudad de Mexico, hosted by Sherry Waters and by myself. So I'm really excited about that. We have like big names there, all the bands, some of our favorites. So I'm really excited and shout out to our partners uh, Vive Latino, Ocesa, and Indie Rocks. I'm really, really happy about that. Of course, if you like KXP, you've heard about Mon Laferte from Chile. Por supuesto. If you like El Sonido, of course, that you listen to Son Rompepera uh, from Mexico as well. Laurel Meets the Obsolete from Mexico as well. Elis Paprika from Mexico. Luisa Almaguer, that she just put out Wedges. Her new album is on rotation as well. It's part of our new favorite albums um, of 2024 so far. Enjambre, which is a big name in Mexican rock. Bruces, a new talent from Mexico. Que I'm, I'm really, really excited about uh, her. La Bruja de Texcoco. And uh, Descartes Acán, that, that I mentioned. Melenas from Spain. And La Zorra Zapata from Peru, you can be familiar with La Zorra Zapata because she's on rotation as well with Marín de Vida and El Invento, two of my favorite songs so far of 2024. So you have like different things como eh, música tradicional, rock, eh, shoegaze, um, indie pop, the best, the best of the best. So live on KEXP in Mexico is going to be available on your favorite YouTube channel, KEXP, uh, starting in November. Listeners, you can find all this information at kexp.org slash Mexico. You can also purchase tickets to El Sonido Live at that link. And visit kexp.org to tune in to today's Akia Hora programming. Or listen using the two-week streaming archive or via the KEXP app. And as always, you can check out El Sonido, hosted by Albina, every Monday evening from 7 to 10 p.m. Pacific time. Albina, thank you as always for joining us on In Our Headphones and sharing these awesome tracks with us. Thank you so much, Janice. I had the best time and it's always great to talk about music with you. And now it's the part of the show where we check in with KEXP's music director, Chris Sainley. Hey, Chris. Hey, Janice. Stoked to be back as always. Every week, Chris is listening to thousands of songs, adding new singles and albums to KEXP's rotation. And of all the new music you've heard lately, what track has been stuck in your headphones? So I have been a fan of the Madrid outfit Hein since day one, and they just released their fourth studio album, Viva Heinz, and I wanted to bring in a track off of that. And this is their first album to ever have Spanish language tracks, so I wanted to feature one of those. Let's go with Informa. <laughs> Which, again, is just so perfect for the kickoff day of Akia Hora. Yes, always excited to be collaborating with Albina in any way, shape, or form, and super, super stoked to be launching Akia Hora, like, now. And so this felt like a, a very 
fitting track <laughs> to bring into the mix. Absolutely. So what is it about this track that really stood out for you? I mean, the whole album is phenomenal. Like whether subtle or blatant, the hooks really just like permeate their endearing fusion of garage pop and surf rock. And you've got these really great like layered guitars and their lively vocal performance. And I just love that they finally have some Spanish language tracks for the first time ever on this album. And, you know, this album does feel like a lot of firsts from the band, you know, first with songs in, in Spanish, first album featuring collaborators, namely Beck and Grian Chatton of Fontaine's DC. Um, and it's their first album since um, Aid Martin and Amber Grimbergen left the band back in 2022. And so that found them returning as a duo for the first time because this this project really started with co-founders Carlotta Coisis and Garcia Perote, um, who formed the band as a duo back in 2011. So it's a lot of firsts, but also going back to basics. And, you know, this song, I think, of course, it's catchy as hell, um, but also just lyrically, when you dig into it, it's something that a lot of folks can relate to. Um, and ironically, like, this is kind of inspired by a panic attack, which a song you and I talked about right. months ago from Green Chatton of Fontaine's DC. Um, also has has a song Starburster that was inspired by one. So um, I thought that was a really interesting through line. Um, but this of course is from a different perspective and like namely just dealing with everything like as a young woman in today's world you know she was <laughs> talking about you know reflecting on just the chaos of what it is to be a young woman today and having to juggle like everything with like news politics like how people are trying to police our bodies like relationship and also just like doing the laundry <laughs> and existing as as a human so i think just like and really like drilling into that i think is something that so many folks can can relate to and the chorus, you know, the mira me no puede más or look at me, I can't take it anymore. Like, we all have felt that, yes. <laughs> and, and especially today, I feel like so. Um, yeah, the song just just hits on on so many different levels. And, and now that I know that that's the translation, it just kind of takes it to another level for me. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's too good. <laughs> I had read in a press release that the songwriter Carlotta had said, "quote My boyfriend broke up with me, and I turned thirty years old in the same week. This was the first song I could write after months of feeling absolutely devastated, immobile, and pathetic." I just wanted to get better, but I just couldn't. I couldn't cope with this eternal race of being happier and better and cleaner and healthier. 100%. And like, even in the bridge of this song, like there's a lyric that translates to like, I'm fossilizing on the couch, you know? So like, it really just like hits to that feeling of just being totally immobilized by yes. you know, whatever you're experiencing, whether it be like internal emotions or just outside stressors. And we have all been there, but I'm so glad she's not fossilizing on the couch anymore because we needed this album. Um, so be the <laughs> Heinz. <laughs> well, let's take a listen. This is Heinz and the track and forma. <laughs> estado concentrada en subsistir un día más en un estado en sí misma intentando adelgazar hay un millón de vasos a medio beber pienso mientras el de esta taza de antes de ayer ya no aguanto un día más es hora de salir ya no aguanto un vino más sin ti sin verte sonreír you just heard the track en forma from the spanish duo Heinz. You can find that on their latest album, Viva Hines, which just came out a couple of weeks ago via Lucky Number. And that was an In Our Headphones pick from our music director, Chris Sainley. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Albina. And thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of In Our Headphones. You can listen to the songs featured on today's episode in their entirety in a few different ways. There's the In Our Headphones playlist on Spotify the What's in Our Headphones playlist on YouTube. And you can visit the show page at kexp.org slash podcasts. There are also links to the artist Bandcamp pages so you can support them with a purchase if you'd like. If you enjoy this podcast, please subscribe, rate, and review. 
or share it with a friend. We'd also love to hear from you if you have feedback. You can write to us directly at headphones at kexp.org. KEXP is an independent nonprofit radio station. So this podcast, along with all of our programming, is made possible by the generous support of our listeners. If you'd like to be one of those generous supporting listeners, you can make a donation of $6 a month at kexp.org slash headphones. In Our Headphones is hosted and produced by Isabel Khalili and myself, Janice Headley. Audio is mixed by Emily Fox and mastered by Jackson Long. And our director of editorial is Larry Mizell Jr. Our theme song is How Ma by the band Chinese American Bear. Tune in next week where Isabel will be talking with Gabriel, one of our newest KEXP DJs and the co-host of Vinelands, our Bay Area local music show. I'm Janice Headley. See you next time on In Our Headphones from listener-powered KEXP, where the music matters.